A very pleasant day, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to another edition of Auto Review. I'm Ron de los Reyes. Let's take a look at the latest in motoring on our Auto News Update. Nissan Philippines Incorporated held their media Thanksgiving toast as their first event for 2015. Led by President and Managing Director Antonio Zara, NPI welcomed 2015 as the year to establish the brand's presence throughout the country. The new Nissan company, formalized in the early part of 2014, expects to make a strong comeback after launching the Silphi, Altima, and the all-new X-Trail last year. NPI is also going to the motorsports scene with the introduction of Nissan GT Academy using driver simulators of PlayStation Gran Turismo. <music> Nissan is currently offering nine vehicles, the Almera, Altima, Grand Livina, Murano, Patrol, Royale and Safari, Silphi, Urban and X-Trail. Colombian Auto Car Corporation, distributor of Kia cars in the country, says they aim to increase sales this 2015 with different projects as the brand's full-year global sales increased 5.9% with almost 3 million cars sold. This was announced by CAC President Ginya Domingo during the media Thanksgiving party in Makati City. Domingo also expressed the importance of the Kia PBA team and how it helped Kia's brand presence in the country. 2014 was a real good year for us as well. Sales year over year was at 37%, so that's uh, real good for us. It's, we crossed the 8,000 unit uh, mark last year and that in itself is a milestone for the brand. We have uh, brought in a basketball team. We entered the PBA franchise uh, to further enhance our brand and to make it uh, more accessible to the Filipino car buyer. Kia also plans to launch the next generation Kia Karens, which debuted at the 2014 Paris Motor Show. And so goes our Auto News Update, Auto Review. We'll be back. Stay with us. Team Isuzu Pilipinas celebrated the club's fourth year anniversary last week at the SM Mall of Asia parking grounds in Pasay City. A group formed through Isuzu Fora in Chicot.com, the club is composed of Isuzu Highlander Crosswind Sportivo owners in 2009. As the group grew with more members, they changed the club name to Team Isuzu Pilipinas. The club organizes meet and greets, fellowship or recreational meeting every quarter, special events such as car shows or auto rally, an outreach program every December, and a fun run once a year. We have uh, lots of subgroups sa Facebook, uh, Isuzu D-Max, Altera, MUX, Trooper, Crosswind, and uh, Sportivo. 
if you want to find us, um, just log into Facebook and look for Team Isuzu Pilipinas and uh, Isuzu Owners Philippines. Some 150 car owners attended the anniversary event with each member bringing their own Isuzu car for the celebration. After four years, the only premier Isuzu club in the Philippines hopes to attract more members to make TIP more known in the future. Auto Review's first trip outside Manila in 2015, we celebrated the fiesta season in Negros Occidental as we covered the 39th Sinulog Festival at Cabangkalan City. 92.6 kilometers away and a two-hour drive south of Bacolod City, Cabangkalan is known for Sinulog sa Cabangkalan, a celebration for the feast of their patron saint, Senor Santo Niño. Before the motorsports events, motoring journalists were able to explore more of Kabangkalan and its cultural and religious celebration. The 10-day fiesta has a lot of activities programmed to appeal to a wide range of interests. We actually thought of uh, how to showcase Kabangkalan through motorsports and all at the same time um, showing all the scenic views of Kabangkalan. We covered the entries of Tribal Headdress Competition. We call the festival Kabangkalan Sinulog Festival. It is a nine-day long festivities and it, it is being started with an opening salvo uh, focused on the religious aspect of the festival. Catch a glimpse of the candidates from all over the Negros Island vying for the prestigious title of Negro Sinolog Queen. And enjoy the musical pyrotechnics competition from the best fireworks manufacturers from all over the country. Sinulog Festival here in Kabangkalan City, this is one way of our thanksgiving to uh, Senor Santo Nino of uh, the graces that he has given to us for the year. And uh, every end of the year, we celebrate the Feast of Santo Nino by uh, our Sinulog Festival. Ten cars competed in a race that focused more on precision rather than speed. The rally covered over 70 to 90 kilometers of Kabangkalan's scenic landscape. The route included different terrains that challenged both the driver and navigator. Good 
actually this is our first time so it feels like it's just a normal driving. <laughs> it's just a normal driving. Uh, we're from here and we used to, we, we get, we're really used with, with the roads already. Yeah. And really, maganda. Maganda yung lugar. At saka maraming makikita ang magandang Beautiful scenery and the roads. Another event was the annual Autocross and Supermoto competition held outside the City Hall. The event proved that Cabangkalanons are true motorsports enthusiasts with a huge number of participants from all over the city and even a larger audience during the race period. We have Supermoto, beginner, novice, expert. Then we have 100 to 130 uh, staff. MotoGP and 100 to 130 open MotoGP and 130 to 150 MotoGP and scooter open and scooter stop. Mm, pabilisan to eh, tsaka maraming ang circuit, marami yung laps yun. Dapat aggressive ka sa motorcyclo mo. Kung paano mo i-manage yung riding mo. Known to be a city that proudly contributes to the sugar industry, Cabangkalan is a hidden gem in the Negros population. Their own version of Sinulog has its roots in local folklore and history, and it has stayed that way for almost 40 years. The people also have a lot of love for motorsports events. Volkswagen Philippines displayed their current and upcoming vehicle lineup during the 29th All VW Classic Custom New Generation Car Show at Camp Aguinaldo Grand Parade Grounds in Quezon City. The German-based company offered free test drives of their new models during the event along with the new Golf GTI and the Turan MPV, which served as one of Pope Francis's cars during his Philippine visit. We're showing today uh, in this event uh, the new models of Volkswagen that uh, we are selling in the Philippines. And uh, Amid's the CEO of old Beatles, old Comis, and old Carmen Diaz around. Meantime, the most anticipated annual Volkswagen car show exhibited how large the VW community is in the Philippines. The event is both a gathering and a competition as various classic VW owners converge and compete for automotive excellence, both in function and looks. Over 400 cars grace the event with each owner proudly showcasing their classics. Okay, this is an annual event every year for the last 29 years. It's a car competition of preservation and restoration. So it's a mix of old and new Volkswagens. There are competing cars about less than 30, but the attendees of the whole program is over 400 cars. It's a very simple car. The engineering is so easy to maintain. The shape has not changed over 60 years. That is why it stayed that way for the longest time. It has been an icon of transportation. We also talked to chapter leaders of the club. Hanggang ngayon, nagsasaliksik pa rin kami na magandang pang-display. Kagaya nga ng detail na to, na ginawang pick-up. 
very overwhelming and we're very happy to see uh, people um, being into Volkswagen, you know, appreciating the, the history and the culture of, of the car. Although mahirap hanapin yung mga parts, uh, basta hobby mo siya, siguro gagawin mo naman lahat ng magagawa mo para makahanap ka ng mga parts. Other activities included part swap meet, double item sale, music, food, raffle, and giveaway prizes. H2O Technologies Incorporated launched the Salamander Concept, an innovative vehicle able to run on land and water at the Capital Commons Center in Pasig City. Being in a country where floods become a common occurrence, especially during rainy season, H2O Technologies along with renowned custom car designer Atoy Leave put in five years of work to create the Salamander the first amphibious tricycle in the Philippines. The vehicle is available in two power plants, a gasoline-powered 250cc engine and a 5-kilowatt pure electric motor. It carries a total of five passengers plus a driver-operator on land and three passengers plus driver-operator on water. It uses a patented solution that allows it to switch between land and sea travel seamlessly on the same engine with just the pull of a lever. The company believes that the salamander fits well into the Philippine landscape requirements for being a good and practical alternative of transportation. The concept is a landmark in Filipino innovation. The company is still pursuing funding to bring it to full production as early as 2016. Toyota Motor Philippines Corporation announced during their Thanksgiving party that Toyota bagged the Triple Crown for the 13th straight year, being the leader in passenger car sales, commercial vehicle sales, and overall vehicle sales. The brand also celebrated TMP joining the exclusive 100,000 club after breaching the 100,000 cars sold with 106,110 units last year. Toyota aims to maintain its leadership in the first car launching in 2015 with the unveiling of the all-new Toyota Alphard. The Philippines is one of the first countries to have the Alphard just days after its global introduction in Japan. 
the 2015 Alphard is bigger in width but smaller in height compared from its predecessor, giving it a more grounded stance and greater commanding presence. The new Alphard features a new front-end design which is comprised of a redesigned bumper, swept-up LED headlights, a larger grille and circular fog lamps. The 2015 Alphard can still seat 7 in comfort with its electronically adjustable seats that recline with memory function. Cargo space has been vastly improved as it includes a 147-liter storage space that can be found under the luggage room floor. Other features include roller-type sunshades for the rear door and quarter glass windows, an 8-speaker infotainment system, and a 4.2-inch multi-information display that can be found between the instrument gauges. Under the hood, the Toyota Alphard is powered by the same 3.5-liter V6 2GR FE engine that generates 275 horsepower at 6200 RPM and 340 newton meters of torque at 4700 RPM. The 4-speed automatic gearbox has been replaced with a standard 6-speed automatic transmission. The Alphard 3.5-liter automatic is priced at 3,292,000 pesos. And that's our show for today. I hope you enjoyed it. We would like to thank Suzuki Philippines Incorporated for providing us our test unit this week. The new Suzuki Ertiga. Thank you also to Microtel South Forbes here in Santa Rosa City, Laguna. Until next week, at the same time here on Auto Review, this is Ron De Los Reyes saying thank you for joining us. Drive safely all the time. We'll see you next week.